was just a 17-year-old senior. I was a dancer. Over the summer, I kind of felt I had strep because I had white spots in my throat and I was really tired. Like, I was starting to get to the point where I couldn't walk from, like, my house to my car without getting winded. And even walking in school, I would leave my class five minutes early just so I could get to the next class. One day in chorus, we were singing and I, everything started to go black. I got a phone call from the school. Casey had just about passed out or had passed out during choir. We went to the doctors and they were like, they couldn't really tell anything because I didn't get blood work yet. And they were just like, maybe you have asthma. Maybe you're just really dehydrated. And they said to go get blood work. Within two hours, I was getting a phone call from the doctor on call that they were starting to get her results and they weren't good. So then I started like freaking out. I called my dad. My wife got a phone call, I think it was around nine o'clock that night. Uh, said blood work wasn't good. The following morning, we picked up my grandpa and we went down to Albany Med. You could right away quickly tell that Casey definitely was very anxious. All these people poking and prodding her with needles. So she definitely was uh, very scared um, and anxious. I didn't know what to expect, really. Dr. Gosman sat down on my bed and at this point I was just so anxious, like my body was shaking. And he was like, worst case scenario, leukemia. I try to be honest from the beginning that if that's what I'm suspecting, you know, at least I mention it. Um, so they kind of heard that word leukemia before we even got the results back. We did see leukemia cells that were consistent with the most common pediatric leukemia called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. When he told me the news, like, I just, it's sad to say, but I just thought I was gonna die. We were all crying like crazy. But then the doctor continued on with, all right, now we're going to do this. You know, they had a plan. Dr. Gosman, he, he was so good at like explaining and telling me I was going to be OK. The treatment for leukemia is pretty long. It's more than two years long. Everybody knows leukemia, the way they treat it. It kills the white cells. They don't have any immune system at that point. What happened with Casey was that she got really, really sick towards the end of the first month of therapy. They soon found out that I had an E. coli infection in my large intestine, and it was spreading throughout my body. Her condition was very grave. She was very, very sick. I was on continuous dialysis for like 14 days, and from October 28th to November 13th, I don't remember like really anything. When I woke up, I had no muscles in my body. Like I couldn't move my legs, I couldn't move my arms, I couldn't lift my head up, I couldn't eat. So I remember the ICU doctor telling me for every day that she was unconscious and out of it in the ICU, it would take like three days for that one day of recovery. So it's been, a, and she was in there for a really long time, so it's been a really long road for her. Of course, we had to change our treatment plan a little bit as the time went on since some drugs had to be held, some things we added, so we had to kind of improvise a little bit. Her strength had weakened quite a lot where she needed a lot of physical therapy, a lot of occupational therapy to get her back to her normal strength and she's still not 100%. We actually have a rehabilitation unit on the eighth floor here that their sole purpose is to strengthen patients and get them, get them home. She had made friends with a young lady who passed away from leukemia. But Casey was right beside her bedside when she passed away. The next morning, she gets up and she goes to PT. She's on the rehab floor, and she says, I want to walk today. Casey walked. Casey has come a very long way in a very short period of time. Seeing her walk now is just, it makes everything worthwhile. I've never done this. A lot of it was the motivation from everyone around me, my doctors, my nurses. They just pushed me through it. Dr. Gosman, he, um, 
He was so sweet and caring, and, and Dr. Pierce, they were really like, they became my family. They, they're awesome, I love them. Melody Center is our blood and cancer disorder center here at Albany Med. It provides care for right now at least 600 active patients. When families are diagnosed with cancer, they don't need to travel far and wide to receive treatment. With us being here, it allows the family to stay home. When I think of going to Melody Center, I'm actually excited to go to eye appointments, which is, it's crazy to say, but it's just such a pleasant experience to go there. One of our major goals is to treat the whole family. It's really important for us to encourage parents to have siblings come here. Oftentimes parents want to protect the siblings and have them stay home, and, but it creates a fear of the unknown. And so we want them to be here. We want them to come be a part of the team. We want them to feel like they're a part of the healing process. I was really close with Angie because we would hang out a lot. And she would help me understand what um, happened to my sister. We are so grateful for all of the community support that the Melody Center receives. We wouldn't be able to do the work that we do without all of that support. They need the money to keep this good work going. There's no doubt about that. The donations that we get here allow us to do something that I've never seen happen anywhere else that I've ever worked at. And that is that personal time, that one-on-one -on -one time. You know, we hold hands, we cry with families. That personal thing that you don't get often in the medical world, what dancing gives us makes that happen. The high point of this year to us was a young lady walking across the stage and receiving her diploma as a graduate of high school. Casey, when she walked across the stage graduation day, it was to a standing ovation from everybody in that gym. I'm going to be starting college, and I want to be something in the hospital environment. I wanted nothing to do with the medical field until I got sick, but then it just became such a big part of my life, and everyone was so inspiring. I want to inspire little kids who fought what I did and help them get through it. I expect great things from Casey. She's going to make a difference for other people. A lot of thanks goes to the team in Melodies. You know, Dr. Kanwar, you know, Dr. Weintraub. Dr. Pierce, and of course, Dr. Gosman, the man that she saw first, and who will probably always be the closest to her heart. She knew what needed to be done for her to get better, and she just did it. She was amazing. There's only one thing you can say. Thank you. You gave me my girl back. I can never thank them enough for their support. They were just wonderful. And as much as you were going through, probably the worst thing you could ever possibly imagine, they made it that much better. Just gotta look on the bright side because this is just a little thing that happened in my big life.